<laughs> hey what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel hope you all have an awesome day today um, I have something that I'm pretty excited about I don't know how excited you all will be but I'm excited to get this uh, it's a little new addition to the homestead I bought me a hay bale feeder grainer it, you can put grain and hay in there uh, and I'll show you guys doing that I'm gonna set it up look at all these hungry sheep Gabby is a camera hog at Gabby. What are you doing, Gabby? Um, so I got stuff I got to do. I'm going to do a few chores around here. I'm going to bring you all along with me. First, I'm going to feed them so they'll be quiet for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to set this feeder up and show you all that. Let's take a look at it for a second. They're going crazy back there. It's actually made by a local uh, guy that they sell at a store up here. It was a little over 200 bucks, but it's it's heavy, heavy duty. You just put your, you put your uh, square bells up there, and then you put your grain down here. It actually came with some legs came with some legs so you can adjust the height to whatever height you want right now i'm probably just going to set it on the ground i think what i'm going to do i'm going to drive my truck in there and uh set it up because it's too heavy for me to lift over the fence by myself I and mean, this thing's heavy duty so let me drive around unload it and i'll bring you along with me Well, when you're doing stuff by yourself, sometimes the animals will just get out. Gabby, leave them alone. Gabby's trying to round them back up. Uh, three of them got out, but that's no big deal. I can get them back in so easy. As soon as I start graining, they're going to be jumping the fence to get in here. Lily, Lily needs to leave them alone. Oh, lamb, Rambo's hungry. You hungry, Rambo? Huh? Get off of them, Lily. What are y'all doing? All right, let's unload this. We're going to leave down there just like that for now. I'll put the legs on uh, probably tomorrow or the next day. I'll get it up off the ground. That way it doesn't rust, but it's, it's coated really good. Um, so we'll leave it there for now. We'll feed them. Look at all the grain. I got to shovel out of the back of the truck. It usually doesn't happen. They usually fill them up about that much from the top of my barrels, but they let it go today. And I had to throw it all off on the back of the truck just so I can close the lids on there. Um, so I went and bought, I don't even remember how much it weighed. It was like 80 bucks with the feed. Two barrels cost me 79 something. So that's a pretty good deal. I'm um, like $9 per hundred pounds. So you probably figure that about a thousand pounds or no. $9. It'd be a little less than that. So yeah, that's what it is. So let's, uh, let's, I'm going to put some hay in there, but first let's give them a little grain just so I can get, so they'll be quiet a little bit. You know, it's the little things in life that make me happy. A brand new uh, feeder for the sheep and for Jesse to put hay and grain. Uh, it really makes me uh, happy about it. Uh, I'm glad I finally just, just went out and bought one. I've been needing one forever. Um, but I always just kind of makeshift uh, stuff. Let me show you why I actually went out and bought it. It's because the sheep, or Jesse, somehow destroyed uh, my pallet feeder. Let's take a look at it. 
So yeah, they uh, completely destroyed that because I put a little bit of grain back behind there for uh, Rambo and uh, the big sheep found it and they went back there trying to get to it. I'm telling you this grain, oh, they cannot resist it. It's crazy. So yeah, it is absolutely nuts. I'm going to go in the house and uh, get the bottle for uh, Rambo because he is hitting me like crazy. Um, he's wanting something to get over here. Uh -uh. Get back Rambo. He is hungry. It's his uh, lunch dinner time. Um, I've cut, we've cut his milking back to two a day, and uh, I'm probably gonna start cutting it back to one a day here pretty quick. Um, the mamas are even starting to. Brandy said the mamas are starting to nudge um, the babies off of them somewhat, uh, just to starting to wean on their own. Uh, mamas know when when it's time. Um, their natural instincts kicks in, and uh, that's what they're doing. That's a good sign. Like if you if you're new to sheep, you can just kind of watch the mamas, and uh, they'll tell you when it's time to start weaning them. Lot like I said before, a lot of times I'll just separate them for. You know a week or so 10 days um, to, to help the mamas out but i'm gonna go in there and get the uh, milk and we'll feed rambo and i'll show you guys that because i know you guys love rambo <laughs> he's going down oh I'll tell you what <coughs> the thing i like about this feeder too is jesse could just lean up over the top and eat it and the sheep can just pick through there you're not gonna get a lot of waste at all i'm the only what most of the waste we'll get is probably from jesse just flinging it around i don't know if i ever caught that on camera sometimes he'll just grab the hay and just start flinging it everywhere Where's your little tail can y'all see his little tail is kind of blocking over there there he goes ah uh, he's actually a really good uh become a really good pet but he just nudges like crazy anytime he sees you he wants something to eat He's been drinking about, I don't know, half one of these uh, a serving. So he's getting a, he's getting two liter a day. Sometimes a little more if he's really, really wanting it, but we're cutting him back. He's starting to grow, starting to fill out. He's eating a lot more um, uh, hay and uh, starting to eat the grain. I'll get up here and I'll show you guys the grain I'm feeding these two. It's a four way uh, mix. And I'll get up here after he's done eating and I'll, and I'll get in there and I'll show you exactly what it is. I probably don't know every, all four things, but uh, you guys can take a look and see what you think. They all seem to, they all, all really like it. And they actually love it. Well, he didn't even need all, um, all of it. Uh, Steve kind of headbutted him there a little bit. <laughs> a little turd. Let's look at the little babies first. What's up? Now I can get rid of that old one since I got a new one. I'll put it up somewhere in case I ever need it again, but it probably just needs to go in the trash. Um, it's served its purpose. I've been using that for like three years. Moving on to big and better things, huh, Jesse? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Let's jump in the back of the truck and uh, I'll show you this feed. A lot of you already seen it in the back of my uh, of the back bed up here. They're, they wasted a bunch this time. A lot of times you can't get all that out of there. This actually is like a little bit different blend than I've been getting. They ran out of the stuff I was getting. And they, these big pellets, I'm not exactly sure what they are. Some of this probably has like some molasses in it. And there's some corn and there's some protein uh, powder stuff. You can see in these little pellets. It's a four-way blend. This isn't the normal stuff. I usually don't get these big pellets in it. I need to get a list of stuff, everything that's in these. I know it's uh, it's very little to no copper because sheep can't have sh uh, copper. And uh, they've been eating. They've eaten this one before, but it's not the normal one I've been getting, like I said. Um, so it's still safe because I have fed to them in the past. Um, but I know it's low in copper. Because sheep cannot have high doses of copper. That's one thing about the Dorper breed. And it might be in uh, sheep in general. I've always just had Dorpers and uh, Katadids. And uh, they can't have high doses of copper because it is poisonous to them and it will kill them. So, that being said, this feed's good to go. Alright, that's all I got for y'all on today's vlog. I just wanted to show y'all the new feeder I got. The new addition to the homestead that I'm, I'm happy about. Um, I know it's not no Daniel Arms uh, big two-wheel uh, tank that he pulls around and collects feed. You know, us poor guys still got to put our feet in barrels. We can't all be like Daniel and, and spend the big bucks on uh, 
uh, what, what, what is that trailer grainer feeder thingy? I don't even know. Oh, it's awesome. I, I would like to have one, but right now we'll just uh, we'll go with the $200 feeder. You know, some people, oh, you could build that for a lot cheaper. Well, you might be able to, but I can't. I don't have a welder, and that's one thing I've never gotten into is welding. Um, you know, but maybe one of these days I'll get one. I could tack stuff around and whatever you do and uh, build my own. But as of now, I have to buy it. All right, y'all. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys subscribe to the channel. If you like this video, smash that like button like always. And uh, we appreciate all the nice comments and thumbs up that you guys give us. Thanks a lot. And I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.